So how can we make interior flames, for a stove or a fireplace? The answer is however you want. You can do it with many ways including simulations and materials, and we did share many packs that have a number of fire and flames materials, so that might help in a quick fix. However the method I have for you today is much easier, and a bit more realistic for still or directed shots in interior scenes. This method will rely on flames textures, realistic ones or something that appear real from afar. Like in this fireplace area, if I want to add some quick flames inside, I would use the image as plain shortcut to set that fast, and if by any chance you don't have the add-on enabled just check the default list, you can find it there, we will import one of those images as a plane, so hit shift A, go to image, and select image as plane, then choose any texture or PNG image you have, you might get it as transparent or with a black background, both works the same. Let us first rotate it and scale it to fit the area, then we need to adjust the nodes a bit, so open a node editor on the side, the image as plain add-on will connect the texture on both the color and alpha inputs, however the color is not needed here so switch it to emission, we need the fire to emit light, the add-on also will fix the blend mode and heavy to alpha clip so you don't need to worry about that. We can now control the emission strength to any amount we see fit. With this method also we can add any video sequence. So let's choose the MP4 footage, this time as plain, and as you see the node now is for a frame sequence and have more information on it, still we can't see anything, cause the video still off, so just start the timeline animation. This footage background is still showing a bit, so to fix this, we need the texture color to connect on all the base color, the emission and the alpha inputs, and that will clip the footage in a better way. We can also add a color ramp on the alpha line to further control the white and black alpha colors. Now if we rotate it and scale it to fit, it will show like this. This method will works here or as a TV screen and the possibility is even more. If the flames animation is late to start, you can fix the offset value on the node to match them up. Like here in this timeline, the flames show up around frame 30 so make it the same value in the offset. Let us do it one more time on a gas stove or whatever you call this thing. By the way, we made this kitchen scene a while back, all about basic modeling, and you can see the full tutorial popping up top to the right corner. So let's isolate the fire area, then as before, add an image as plain, select the texture you downloaded online, and here it is. One extra thing we will do here is fix the flame scale in UV, you do the same thing with a mapping node. Then to make it show on the entire plane, change the type from clip to repeat. You can now cut this plane and take just this area from it, fix the node connection to emission, then place it near the gas area, and rotate it using bend in the simple deform modifier. We need some cuts to make it rotate so add some with Ctrl R, and if by now the bend axis is not making sense, make sure to apply rotation. Here you have it, once we copy this around the stove area, it will look something like this from afar, which is a bit more interesting than being off. That's it, like the video if you still here and go watch the mud wizard clip on youtube the dude is op see you guys next time stay sharp goodbye